What up, gang? This is Ken Zerk, Ken Zilling, and Zika Milling, and the villain from the trilogy, and we are back on Course Party Blood Drive. Last time on Course Party Blood Drive, we hit up, um, what it was. I know we got lost with Ayumi or something. We hit bro up, and he was like, hey, I'm coming for you, or I'm looking for you. Okay, yeah, Yoshiki tried to talk to that crazy girl that'd be beating up on everybody. And she ended up clapping his cheeks. <laughs> oh! Dang, okay. It's course party, so we're probably gonna be extremely lost. Or not. <laughs> Hold on. I'm so hungry! Sensei. Teacher! <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> what am I supposed to do here? Nick, run! Oh! Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, you like it when I whisper in your ear, don't you? <laughs> ah! Rapist! Hey, bro, you might want to run. Hey, yo, this isn't going well. Too bad, too bad. Yo, yo, you might want to... Ow! Yo, you might want to... Is this how we're starting? Yeah. Sachiko? Yeah. Huh? What was that? Sachiko saved us? That's my daughter. My sweet Sachiko. I knew she was I knew she was a, she was a kind girl at heart. She was never evil. Come on now. What made y'all think my sweet and adorable Sachiko was ever evil? I can't click this. Either something's in here or we just saw like an extra cutscene. Bro, this music makes me hard. Holy crap. Oh, snap. Y'all see I'm in cosplay? Look at your boy, Inuyasha, playing Corpse Party. I was so dang focused on this, I forgot to talk about the cosplay. This is where um Mayu was chasing us, isn't it? We got some batteries. All right, we gotta find that Misuto guy. Oh my goodness, that scared me. Oh, that dead body's gone. Or no, the body was down here. Oh, it is gone. All right, we haven't been here yet. Y'all ain't gonna catch me lacking now. I thought I saw something. They added a dang flashlight for no reason because I am not using it. I'd rather save it for when I need it. Look at your boy not stepping on traps. <laughs> so much for not stepping on traps. Okay. Dang, bro. You good, bro? Hey, broski. Takaharu Furutade willfully gave himself to the school after being enticed by the world of blood and flesh. So he a little weirdo. He a little freak -a deep Hold on. The longer you live, the more other people die. That ain't my problem. They need to, they need to lock in the freak. If my life causes your death, then you're clearly doing something wrong. Lock in. Do better. What's in here? I die. <laughs> Hold on. 
Look at how your boy is just ev uh, evading these traps. Like, ooh, I don't know if I like this. Okay, a talisman and bandages. I like that a lot. Never mind. I like that a lot. Hold on. Don't don't step on the trap now. Hey, hey, yo, is that sugar? Uh-uh. Man, man. As I walk down the hallway, I can hear a familiar voice echoing from just around the corner. Turning in the direction of the voice, I confirmed what my ears were telling me. It was Morishigi. His eyes were hollow and his face was frozen in a solid, crushing frown. As he walked, he was holding his cell phone lazily in one hand. His tone of voice was decidedly abnormal. He clearly wasn't in his right mind. Why would you call out to him? He paused mid Mayu and remained dead silent for a moment. His facial expression changed only slightly, adding the tiniest bit of confusion to his all-consuming sadness. Last rep. He genuinely seemed stunned to see me. His mouth was agape. Do you know where Mayu is? Mayu? I looked deeply into his eyes, trying to find some trace of his former intensity. But the flame had gone out. My vision rapidly began to glaze over as tears swelled in my own eyes. Mori. Mayu, I take full responsibility, I... The phone he held in his hand had a cracked screen upon which nothing at all was displayed. Just white. I couldn't stop crying. Poor Shigi. You really are dead. He continued to walk onward on his never-ending mission to find Mayu. Swaying about in an unstable fashion as he sauntered down the corridor. I'll save you! You and Suzumoto alike! At least he didn't chase us! I... I have to... I have to find the Book of Shadows! At least he didn't try to kill us like Mayu did. He got half his mind. Dang. I see that. Uh-huh. I see that. Sorry, Kotooka. To come to fatigue after wandering school, calling up for her parents. Dang, man. That's why I say, like, y'all gotta lock in, bro. Uh-uh. So hungry. Uh-uh. It's a strawberry milk flavor steam bun? Those are my favorite. What's the expiration date? Tomorrow? Should I eat it? Maybe Misato left it behind for me. It smells okay. Don't eat it! No! So good, I feel totally energized now. I guess we did the right thing. Okay. I mean, I'm sitting here like... If you eat that, you're gonna die. You feel me? Like, this is corpse party. Don't just... I'm not trusting no school. I'm not trusting no food that come from Heavenly Host Elementary. And I see that. They trying to trick me into walking into it by making it seem like I can't get rid of it. I'm not stupid. I see it. I already went this way. Okay. 
I, I don't actually don't want to run because I don't know. I don't know if these ghosts are like actually wandering around or if they have to be triggered. So like I could be running around, they gonna hear me, and then Mayu's gonna pull up all the way from downstairs and like just start touching me inappropriately. You feel me? And, and I don't want that. I don't want that at all. Let's see what's popping off in here. Oh snap! It's that one room. Oh, it's that one guy that helped um out Uh, uh. Damn, don't have key. My body's in science lab. He has the key. Find him and get it back. Science lab key. All right. Okay, I almost ran right into that. All right, I think the next place I wanted to go is over here. This music is just bumping. Holy crap. Oh, dang the entryway. Game 10. Kabosu Sawa, completely dismembered, likely while still alive. Dang, bro. Did you see somebody you don't know in the halls? Somebody who's not your mommy or your daddy or your teacher? If you see somebody like this, whatever you should, whatever should you do? Run and call a teacher. Yeah, no way, obviously. <laughs> oh! What is that? What was that? That must have been a, a, a... That must have been a dang. See, they think they funny. They put that there to entice us. And they put a trap. And then they made that be a bandage. Because they knew he was going to fall for that. They think they slick. Well, they are slick, because I did fall for it. But still, like, y'all not funny, bro. All right, what's over here? Dang, what happened to you, man? Joked on his vomit. Come on, man. You got to do better than that. This school layout is low-key confusing. I'm gonna be real. This is where, this is where we came from, ain't it? Isn't this where we escaped from Mayu? Yeah. Somebody has a key to the science lab. We need to find them and get it from them. I'm assuming that somebody is- <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> so I'm just falling into everything now, aren't I? I believe that somebody is a little guy that we all know and love as um, Morishigi. That's who I think has the key. Probably have to- Fine. Okay, y'all gonna make us take the dangerous route. All right. <laughs> oh my goodness, I did not see that. Why is my health full? I don't, I don't like that. Why is my health full? I just got hurt multiple times. Hold on. <laughs> All right. 
But I just got hurt multiple times. My health should not be should not have been full. Really thought I was stupid. Hold on. The reference room. Dang man, this is where we killed Naho. Choked on intestines were stuffed into her mouth. Was holding onto a document at time of death. Dang. How you let somebody do you like that? Is that Osaka? You met him, didn't you? Fine, I'll let you pass. You can even have the key. My Koshimizu, bled out after losing intense fight, came to eliminate person who knew too much. Student teacher was cover ID. What is cover ID? Is that like, like FBI or a, a spy or something? Is, is she like the freaking black ops? She, she covert operations? Is that what she be on? She was like, my, my, my job as a covert operation is more important than these students. I got to, res I got to respect that. I'm over here burst running because I don't want to accidentally run into anything again. Oh, I didn't even see this. Nori Ichikawa bled out from glass shrapnel wounds across body. You know, a, a big thing that I like about Horse Party is the fact that it's really confusing, you know? Like, you really kind of, you really got to sit there and figure out where to go and stuff like that. A lot of times you just kind of don't figure it out, you know, you just, you just wander upon, um, you just kind of wander upon the next, the next stage. I'm sure that probably annoys people, but I personally like it. It feels like when, when they do that, it feels like we're not really in control of what's going on, which is true to Heavenly Host. A, a, a big part of Court's Party itself is the fact that the characters aren't in control of what happens. They're quite literally just victims. Everything that happens in Heavenly Host is outside of their control. I think it's over here, isn't it? If I remember right here. Yep. We're in the science lab, boys. My bad. I think this is like the first time we've ever been in the science lab outside of chapter five. Human eyes contained in the cabinet. A name tag rests beside the court. Yashiro Toji suffered a mental breakdown. Kazunori Tomita succumbed to fatigue after being trapped in Nirvana. Came to investigate mysterious guild. Teacher was cover ID. I still do not know what cover ID means. I mean, I am assuming it has something to do with like covert operations. But... Let's see what's in here. Howdy. I'm not stepping on that. Y'all aren't going to trick me into doing it. Oh, snap, an alcohol lamp. Oh, wait! You're in my huh? way. Ah, I'll break your fucking neck. Please stop! You're killing him! Huh? Ah. Take this piece of shit with you if you're gonna run. 
scumbag. Uh, um, excuse me, miss? Huh? What do you want? Thank you for saving me. That man's been a nuisance for some time now. Even following me to school, so... Um... I couldn't care less. And now you're killing her?! This is a purification, Richie. I thought it might help to kill two or three people before heading to the Nirvana. No, stop! Certainly aren't very smart. How about I put you to sleep in place of that nasty man you let get away? If I'm gonna kill someone, I want it to at least be worthwhile. That's my goal! Right up there on top of that building. Now that was an enjoyable fight. Naho Sainoki. Dear, dear Naho. I wanted so desperately to take your life. I don't like you anymore. Don't talk crazy to Naho like that. I don't like you no more. Magari flipped open her phone, but displayed it was displayed as its wallpaper a photograph of Naho. But Naho's face has become a bit, bit darker, a bit less distinct than the last time she'd seen him. Uh, you've got to be kidding me! Her existence is starting to fade now. Damn it! That really pisses me off. Killing people just hasn't been the same since she died. This is shit. Can't waste any more time. I need to head over there. Ayumi uh, Shinazaki's gotta be pretty right by now. Huh? Oh my goodness. She's a freak! Let's see. What was that chant again? Oh, that's right. Nirvana, I summon the death. Ah, man, wait, what the hell are you doing? What did you say about Shinazaki, you bitch? Let go of me. I'll fucking kill you. What do you think you're talking over my bones? I don't give a shit. I'll apologize after we get to heavenly house. Let's make the jump already. You damned. Ah! <laughs> oh, oh! That's my goat and only my goat. Hold on. My bad. He ain't my goat. He's, he, he's, he's Sonny's goat. That's Sonny's goat and only Sonny's goat. On, only Sonny's goat is that goat. Hold on. I love Yoshiki, but y'all know, y'all know who my goat is. Ah! Oh my goodness. All right, so now we have Ayumi, not Ayumi. We got Yoshiki up in here. I guess we just got to come across him. Just run around until we come across him since we don't know where they landed. Ooh, maybe I can use the alcohol lamp to break this. Look at your boy thinking, thinking with my brain. Someone's coming, I have to hide. Don't tell me that's the bathroom ghost. Don't tell me the bathroom ghost is mad at me. I didn't even open your door. I peeked out the entrance as stealthily as I could. Fortunately, there was no sign of anyone to be seen.
I removed the plastic bottle from my bag and chugged its content. I got thirsty. Ooh, it's a lot better in here when you bring water. So far, I've run into Suzumoto and Morishiki. Was wandering around too. That's a good start. I need to hurry up and bring them all back to life. There's no way any water is going to come out of these pipes, huh? I think so. You know, since there doesn't seem to be any spirits around right now, maybe I should go. This happened at Makina Shinazaki's apartment too. It's like I'm drawing the creepy bathroom. Hey yo! Hey yo, what's happening in there? What's happening? Oh, nothing in there, good. The door was no longer there. It was literally just an image painted onto the wall now. How, what? Please, no. How that fast? Almighty God, cleanse this child's sins. The Lord hath spoken. No soul may reside in trees that have died. Is somebody please help? No. Help. The water's bitter. Heavenly Father, Almighty God, take mercy on this impure soul. Strike down this person with one firm swing of thy divine blade, O oh Lord. Please help me. Kishinu. The whole room's filling with water. I'm not going to make it. Anyone, please. Yumi. Swim towards me. Tachiko. Tachiko. This way. Sachi. Sachi is my pride and joy. Oh, that's Yuki. Yuki is not evil anymore? Y y Yuki? We're cool, right? We're cool, right? I, I, I was hoping I'd see you. How have you been? I guess that's kind of a weird question to ask someone who's dead, huh? That book. She really does have it. A large tome was cradled against Yuki's side. Yuki, um, I... I came here because I need that book you have. Could I take a look at it? I reached out slowly and gently hoping she'd hand me the book of shadows. Instead, she quickly hid her hands behind her back, grimoire and all. Oh, is it important to you too? Uh, you fucking asshole! I thought for a moment that I'd caught a smirk on Yuki's face. Then with a crash and heavy hardcover, the heavy hardcover book broke through the window behind her and fell out. Oh, uh, you, you penis licker! Instinctively, I ran over to the window, but obviously couldn't have caught it in time. I looked down though and saw the school's courtyard directly below. The book was in there somewhere, but I couldn't distinguish it from anything else through the veil of darkness. Why would you do that? Why would you do that, Yuki? Don't laugh! Nah, she ain't good no more. Yuki, have you changed?
How did I even end up here? File folder. I mean, she saved us, so I'm not going to be, I'm not going to be too, I'm, I'm not going to be too upset with her. She did save our life, but still like Yuki, you dickhead, huh? Yusuke Okawa, hanged and stabbed, unclear which offense resulted in death. I'll leave you there. Oh, snap. Hedra Ikeda, fatigued during endless search for older brothers. Oh my freaking goodness. I'm about to, oh my. Maybe that's what the flashlight's for. Well, I can actually see. What is that? Is that low health? Oh, that must be darkening. Uh, we ain't looking at no more corpses and stuff. We're not we're not looking at no more corpses and stuff, bro. We don't got the darkening. Yeah, bro, our darkening is getting bad. What's this? What is that? That doesn't interest you in any way? Here is a key on one of the hooks. That wasn't there before. There we go. All right. Something. We got something. Maybe that goes to that classroom that's always locked right here. Yep. Here we go. Something. Thank God. I hope there's like a, a darkening thing in here, bro. There's a Ouija board. Yeah, that's a corpse. I'm not clicking on that. I don't have any. My goodness. They really trying to take me out. What did I do to warrant all of this? This is a... Uh... This is like a spirit board, the kind you'd use for a seance. Almighty God, cleanse this child's sin. Voice seemed to be coming from upstairs. Almighty God, cleanse this child's sins. The Lord hath spoken. No soul may reside in trees that have died. Roche is repeating himself over and over. Are you... He must be a ghost. The voice seemed to be coming from inside this classroom. I save. Thank you, Pookers. I knew this room was suspicious. Oh! <laughs> Suddenly, there was a woman standing in the middle of the classroom. She had her back turned to me. As soon as I saw her, my screen, my screen, my phone screen flicked off, bathing the room in darkness. All I could make out beforehand was that the figure was female, no other distinguishing features. Don't turn to me. <laughs> 
Baby. Hey. Oh. I'm killing you. Shut up. Shut up. Die. Oh. Oh, no. She a strong one. She a strong one. She a strong one. What are we doing? Is she gone? Is she spinning back? I really put her through some ex excruciating pain for no reason though. I mean, I could have escaped without doing that to her. But then again, she should have just left me alone. Y'all be seeing those memes where it's like my face after my face went when, when the homie whips it out and says, you're a good kid, just in a bad way. It, <laughs> it's like, oh, huh? He did what? Excuse what is this alluding to? I'm sorry, guys. I know Inuyasha probably doesn't joke about stuff like that. But we're going into the walkway now. I I'm sorry, I can't be the Inuyasha you guys want me to be. I can only be the Inuyasha that I am. It was this way, right? I'm about to say, don't ask me. I don't know. Where is it? Come on, please be here. Not over here anywhere. Oh, wandering the forest. Here it is, the Grimoire. Found it! Yes, this is it! This is... It did look similar to the Book of Shadows, but the green hardcover binding was fastened in unfamiliar patterns. The green mirrors, the Book of Shadows was kind of like this, right? I placed it on the ground and cracked open the cover. It seemed to be a medical manual. Featuring numerous old diagrams and autopsy dissections. Conjoined twins, incurable diseases, twin pregnancy, intron, fetal death. It was all childbirth related. I couldn't believe it. I'd come all this way, put myself and others at risk off for the wrong book. This isn't it. This isn't the book. So where's the real one? Yuki? Yuki? Run! You key? What are you doing? Run! Okay, you little hell spawn! Get out of there! Get out of there! That's not Yuki! What is that? Ew! Keep your distance from that girl. You're in grave danger. Who is she? It can't be Sachiko, can it? I don't know. But that's not important right now. Listen, Ayumi, okay? You came here in search of the Book of Shadows, right? The Book of Shadows isn't here. It never was. The only thing here is the nirvana that the book spawned. There's nothing at all to be gained from this place. The thoughtograph I took was a reflection of this girl's malice. It was a trap to bring more people in. I could produce several more photos exactly like the thoughtographs she'd shown me before. Look, these are all thoughtographs I found here. Each photo varied widely in its coloring, with some looking 
brand new and others looking significantly aged. But the figure in the picture was always exactly the same. They're identical to yours. No matter whose picture it is, they all show the same girl in the same pose. But the thing that gets imprinted in her hand is different every time. It's based on whatever the thought of for most desperate was most desperate to find. Sure enough, the item the girl was holding in her left hand would differ with every single picture. It wasn't just a book of shadows, but things like a silk cloth, human bones, a beat up checker pattern doll, always held the same way but never the same object. We were all baited by a book that doesn't even exist here and we walked right into it. This place is under her control and if we stay here, we're all gonna go insane. We can't last much longer. We need to get out, do the chant now. I was confused for a second, wondering I Aiko wouldn't make use of her ever after stones to get home right then and there. But that's when I noticed in her hand, there were massive puncture wounds on it, as if she were bitten by a wild dog. It was so bad that the white ligaments in her fingers were actually exposed, visible to the naked eye. Come on, hurry! She was breathing heavily, a testament to how much pain she must have been enduring. I didn't want to crush her spirits, but I knew she, what she was hoping for, and it was something I couldn't provide. I can't. You have the Ever After Stones, right? So use them already, please. I don't. The person I came with has them, and I don't know where he is. We can't go home, can we? So what do we do? She's just sitting there watching. She finally got tired of spectating. God, what do I do? There has to be something I can use. I I guess just... I still have some water left in the bottle I brought with me. I quickly poured it from my pack, removed it from my pack and dumped its contents over Aika. Which way did she go? Aiko, please don't die. I'm out of batteries? What now? This dies on me. I need to hurry. I chased after Aiko. It was really the only thing I could do. She may not have had the stones anymore, but safety in numbers was a real commodity in these parts. Damn it. Darker than I remember. Guess I'm here, though. But that means Heavenly Host is still standing after all. That's a real kick in the ass. Shibazaki, are you here somewhere? That's... That's one of Shinazaki's candles. No mistake in it. Guess she couldn't have gone too far, right? Again, that Shinazaki, I'm coming for you.
dang. So I, so Naomi's been cursed by something with Seiko's picture. And now Yoshiki's in Heavenly Host. Along with that, that, um, what you call it, magical girl. Aiko's probably dead. And we know now, like, Sachi, it's not that Sachiko's back. Something over, something else that's been spawned by the Book of Shadows has taken over Heavenly Host. And it's causing all this. Holy guacamole, man. What is this? That's the end of the episode, guys. If y'all enjoyed, like, subscribe, read a comment, or read a mod type into the next one. Next, 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 ep next episode is going to be chapter four. Oh, man. I haven't uploaded any blood drive yet. By this point, I've already uploaded like a little bit of P, uh, P5, and I've uploaded Danganronpa 2 and P5 already. Yesterday, I uploaded freaking, what's it called? Play the princess but i didn't want to upload blood drive until i beat chapter three because i didn't really like having you know a whole chapter just hanging like that so i want to beat chapter three first but hope y'all enjoy like subscribe read a comment read a mod type into the next one i really do love you guys and i hope y'all love me hey stay back i love you stay back oh also i am recording birthday bash alongside sunny well, I probably would have had all episode one uploaded already, but I hope y'all enjoy that too. Love you guys.